Hi, Hiram here. I've been doing a couple of videos on a little stove called the X-Lite alcohol stove from Intense Outdoor Gear. That's the same, it's put out by the same guy that has the Intense Angular, Angular uh, YouTube page, John over there. Anyway, I was doing tests on it. I did a test using my Boy Scout pot. I did a test with my GSI pot and none of them could get two I couldn't get two cups of water to a boil using those pots. Then I got a comment from Mato Nupai, I hope I said that right, Mato Nupai where he said I also wanted to ask you to test the X light with a titanium cup. I saw somewhere that water in titanium boils faster than aluminum. I'm not sure about that but I thought I'd give it a try today. Also what I wanted to show you is what I had in mind for using that little stove. I've got a kit here, a Vargo titanium pot on cup or mug on the outside. This is the, uh, I think it's, it holds about three cups, so I guess that's about 750 milliliters. Inside I have a piece of carbon felt. I have a container holding the stove and a bottle of alcohol. I like to put them inside other bottles so that leakage or whatever doesn't mess up the inside of your pot. So anyway there's a small thing. It's a little bit more than a half of a fluid ounce. Whoa! Slow down. So there's a little cup. Two uh, large bobby pins. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the X-Lite stove. I put a skirt of carbon felt on it to try to act as a wick to warm this up faster. I also have inside here, now what you've seen here so far with the alcohol weighs 129, sorry, 292.4 grams or 10.3 ounces. To continue with this, a piece of aluminum for using as a base. If it's on cold rocks or something, that's what the carbon felt's for. Goes underneath like so. That way it reflects the heat back up, but it insulates it from the cold rocks. Inside I have the smaller titanium, the Vargo titanium cup. I don't have a lid for this, unfortunately. I'll have to see if uh, Smoke Eater 908 or any of those guys make lids that fit on this. And then I also have a... Uh, piece of some sort of siding that I use. Now I've seen some people like to use paper clips and whatnot, but I always like to use bobby pins because they go on fairly easy and they come off easy. With paper clips they tend to uh, gouge into the aluminum and give you a real pain getting out, but bobby pins, if you can find the big ones, really work good just like that. Also on my windscreens I like to put holes only on half of it. That way you can kind of gauge with the wind coming in how much you want to actually get into the pot. So I'll put the burner like that. What I'll do now is let me break here, get my water prepped, get alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water and alcohol all prepped here. Now I put 16 milliliters of uh, methanol in here, so it brings the inside fluid almost up to the holes on the inside of the burner. Okay, let's see now, this is going to be a little awkward here. I'm going to have to light it and then put everything on top. So let me light this. There's the wicklet. Put the screen on. Put the pot on. Okay, there we go. Oops, already up. Darn it. So that'll be a little bit off. But let's see where this goes. No real way to do camera two shots here, but I just thought I'd show you this. Pretty blue flames coming up the side of the pot. Here we go. Oops, 210, 211, 212 at 602. 602. Kind of caught me off guard there. It really jumped up. Okay, I think the flames just went out. So interesting. 
Okay. Now, unfortunately, the flames came up and was hitting the uh, handle from this titanium pot, so I have to use my gloves. Yep, that's all out. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So that was two cups of water, which only came comes up to about here on the pot. But two cups of water in a titanium cup, starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in six minutes and two seconds. That was with 16 milliliters of methanol. So I guess it is possible to get it up, get two cups, get two cups of water to a boil using this small stove. Now, one thing that I went with playing with this, this carbon felt underneath here is really kind of spongy, and I had to be careful with putting the pot on here because the uh, the whole thing would kind of tip. I may make myself a small cardboard disc that would fit inside here to use. This, I mean, it, it really insulated it, but it was kind of wobbly. And the skirt around this didn't work too bad. That was just a piece where I cut those uh, circles out for uh, the flat cat gear stove. I just took the scrap, cut some stuff off the edges, and just made a little circular skirt to fit on there. So that was 16 milliliters of methanol plus whatever was on the outside carbon felt. And it got two cups of water to a boil. Room temperature is 48 degrees, so uh, not bad. I mean, if you go out into the wind and stuff, it's going to change it quite a bit. Even with a windscreen, it's not, it might not make it out there, but in an ideal situation like here, it's just cold, but it's still got it to boil. Uh, but then, you know, there's always this hang up of having to get it to a boil. The only time you'd need that really is if you're purifying, not purifying, but uh, disinfecting water. But for coffee or tea or oatmeal, you don't have to get the water up to boiling to make that stuff. Hmm. Okay, so that was just my idea of a little kit using this. Again, I have to see if I can find somebody that makes the tin lids for the small Bargo titanium cup. I thank, and I hope I'm not butchering this, Motto Nupai for his comment asking to use the titanium cup. Of course, you could use the smaller one with one cup, and it would definitely come to a boil. But I thank Mado Nupai for commenting. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.